We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, playful and free, without a care in the world. I was one rich little girl. Back all the way back to them days, running around in a gown and a crown, barefoot. No mistake ever kept me late. Spent summers catching fireflies and winters on our skates. One big smile across my face. We used to dance our way to church on Sundays. Mama set the pace. Daydreamer. Good morning, good morning, good morning everybody. Welcome back to another vlog and a good morning it is. As you've seen from my little montage, I got a lot of stuff done this morning. I went to the gym for a good little run and then I dropped off some parcels that I had to send from Vinted and I finished up with going to my allotment. So that will be the first glimpse actually on this channel that you've seen of my allotment. Bear in mind, it's still a work in progress. In total, I have been down there for four times. So it was a it was a pretty big state when I first got it. So there's still like a bit of tarpauling down. Obviously there's still areas around and I haven't actually got a proper border yet. So Anyway, I wanted to just show you that I popped down there to water the plants. Obviously, we're coming into the hot season, hopefully a bit more of a drier season. It is a little bit hit and miss today. It's a bit gray, but then the sun comes out. It's it's very much spring. I'm okay with that because I love spring. You know, it's, it's still kind of cozy. We can still put on a hoodie if we want to on some days but we get to enjoy the sun as well. So I am very excited for today's vlog. There's a lot of stuff that I wanna do with you. Mainly, I wanna show you what I got for my birthday. I'm not doing a dedicated haul this year, just because the older you get, you know how it is. Things, you know, people give you money, like, I'm an adult, if I want anything, I'll buy it. Andy hasn't bought me anything because I just said, you know, we're going on holiday if I see anything I want, and I plan to make a couple of um, purchases while we are in Europe to get some tax back. So I was just like, I was just like, let, let's let it be. I wanted a really chill birthday this year. I had a great day just around my mum and dad's. They put some food on, they put the pizza oven on. We had the family around there uh, because our garden wasn't ready yet. Our garage is still a bit of a tip because we had our loft boarded and I haven't had a chance to get stuff up there. I have been absolutely flat out because when you guys are watching this video, I will be away on my cruise, but right now I'm like days away. So I have been working back to back literally what feels like about seven in the morning till about nine o'clock at night, um, with breaks in between obviously, but it, it just feels constant. So I thought this vlog would be a nice one and then the next vlog you're gonna see will be a traveling vlog. It'll either be a Barcelona vlog or it'll be the cruise vlog or it'll be, I'm gonna do both. I don't really know. I'm gonna bring the camera and just see how much I wanna film. I'm bringing my computer so I can do a little bit of work as well. Uh, but yeah, it's very exciting. I'm going away for two weeks, so it feels massive. I have actually finished that cup of coffee I've made, so I wanna go make another cup of tea. And then let's go upstairs, cause I wanna show you what I got for my birthday. I've got a look fantastic haul of stuff that I, I just picked up, cause they were doing a bank holiday weekend sale. I also got a few bits in B&M that I am not gonna be able to fit into a B&M video, so I'll just chuck them into here. Uh, and then I think I'm gonna continue this vlog on tomorrow, because I need to head out and about tomorrow. It's gonna be Sunday, I'm filming this over the weekend, so it's like a cozy weekend vlog vlog and yeah tomorrow we can go run some errands of some bits that I need to pick up before 
holiday. There is also going to be a giveaway in this video, so make sure you do stay tuned as well. But for now, I'm gonna go make a cup of tea and then I am going to head upstairs and I'm gonna show you everything that I got for my birthday. Okay, so I've set the camera up on a very DIY tripod, so I hope this is okay. Um, I've got all the stuff here that I wanna show you. To be honest, like I said, I have enough to do a whole haul, but I got some stuff in b &Ms. I then did a order on Look Fantastic, not sponsored that, and then everything in here is what I got for my birthday. So I'm just gonna start with the B&M stuff because there isn't, there isn't a ton, which is probably why it didn't make its own haul. I just picked up some of these pots because I thought they were really good um, sizes. £3.50 for these and you get three in there. As you can see from the allotment, I have got a lot of stuff out already, but there's some stuff that I wanna plant at home into bigger pots while I'm away. So it can be, um, ooh, I've just seen my, I don't think you can see that on camera. But I put that um, Primark, sp uh, not spray, that oil I bought. Did you, if you, any of you've watched my latest Primark haul, hey, 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 out of the bag. I actually don't know if it would have gone live before this video. I can't remember, but either way, stay tuned. I bought this amazing um, oil from Primark. I've got it in the other room, so I need to pack it for my cruise. But I've just seen it, the sun hit my chest and it's sparkling away. Yeah, I just wanna pot some stuff on before. Jerry, out of the bag. Have it, if you guys got a dashing, does anybody else's dashing do that? Every time I come home, I put my handbag down or I put shopping bags down. He just, he goes straight in it. There's nothing in there for him and nothing that would smell like it's for him, like I don't get it. Anyway, another thing I got for my allotment was this in B&M. It's a little two-in-one macrame bird feeder and this was four pounds. Oh no, I think it was reduced to three and that's why I picked it up. But yeah, I got this for my allotment. It hangs off my shed. I think you should be able to see it if you look back on the footage if you really want to, but I have put that up already. I got a all pack uh, all purpose two pack of the grill mats for the barbecue. They are just the things you put on it to keep it from getting all um, like gross. These are very overpriced for three pounds, I think at, you know, one pound 50 each. But uh, I thought we were having a barbecue imminently. We're not, but I picked it up anyway. Oh, of course, I've always got a packet of these knocking around. Um, oh, sorry, no. Two packets. Oh, I forgot about these. Okay, I picked up some more onion sets. I have got so many onions growing. I showed you in the clips of me watering them. Um, I can really smell these. Wow, they really smell like onions. These are the snowball onion sets. I've never seen these before. Uh, so I thought I would just do these in some trays because you can't have enough onions. Oh, you did find something for you. I forgot about this. So I got Jerry from B&M these, which are the Wolf and Brew 10 Pour Pops, refreshingly original. It says simply freeze or pour. They just look like this and you just freeze them for the dogs and it's good to cool them down, you know, or make sure if you wanna make sure they're having enough um, liquids, then these are really good. I've just never seen that before. I thought that was quite good. I also picked up a packet of this high energy seed and insect mix because it's got a robin on it. And every time I go to the up allotment, the robin comes and like sees me. It's so cute. He's not he's not stupid because obviously when I'm digging the worms are coming up and he's thinking lunchtime. But to go in my bird feeder, um, I've got some mealworms, but he didn't seem too keen on those. So I've bought this for him. I think this was like a pound. And then finally, well not finally because I can't show you the big item because you're sat on it at the moment. So I'll do an overclip here of it. But I got a hedgehog house. It was 15 pounds from B&M. So cute, I wanna kind of do it up when I've got a bit of time and decorate it and make it all cute. Put some straw in there. I've got a couple of bowls that you'll see in an upcoming haul from Poundland, uh, Home Bargain, sorry. And then I picked up the Brambles Semi-Moist Hedgehog Food. Um, so yeah, it just says added vitamins and minerals. I have no idea what, like what makes it special because I'm attracting the hedgehogs to my allotment because they eat slugs and I need all the help I can get. So I bought them a house and they don't need to pay rent, but as long as they, you know, help help me out there, then they're very welcome to have the house for free. And I still will feed them this. But yeah, you should, um, hedgehogs are so adorable and you should really, really do all you can to make sure that you can encourage that wildlife. And it's just, it helps a really good ecosystem, whether it's just in your garden or your front garden, whatever it is, um, it's really important. Anyway, that's everything that I got in B&M. You are being a absolute nightmare. You, like, honestly, your nose, is making rackets with all of these packets. 
that rhymed. Okay, I am gonna go on to the what I got for my birthday because that'll be a main part of this video. The first bits I got, I actually showed you in my last vlog if you haven't seen already, but uh, my friend Charlie got me some Charlotte Tilbury stuff. She also got me this White Company Silk Eye Mask and this Bath and Body Works on the beach. So she got me the shower gel and the body spray. They smell absolutely gorgeous. Then for Charlotte Tilbury, she got me the Flawless Filter Foundation or the uh, Super Glow Youth glow sorry the beauty light wand in spotlight that one is and also the contour in medium to dark so she absolutely spoiled me I haven't been able to open this yet because I want to get to a counter and make sure it is the right shade then from my auntie she got me this lovely cocktail shaker set it's a proper good set I won't go through it all but it's all stainless steel got everything you could need and more in there I also got this lovely little bejeweled candle from my friend uh, pomegranate noir this is but yeah that's proper all rhinestones I got also a candle from Andy's nan and his parents as well along with a little bouquet of faux roses as well like people just buy me ca candles and flowers which I love one of my uh, mum and dad's very good friends slash like their family she actually got me the magazine kitchen garden and I was so excited about this. I haven't had a magazine in ages. I think, do you know what I'm gonna, I haven't got time to read this before the holiday, so I'm gonna pack it and read it while I'm away, because honestly, gardening just brings me so much peace. So I think I'm going to enjoy this. And it says sweet success on there, and I'm actually doing sweet corn, so um, top tips for sweet corn sounds good. And then this magazine actually came with 10 packets of the Mr. Frother Grills seeds. There's literally a bunch of stuff. Celery, kale, turnips, cabbage, tarragon, and then a bunch of flowers as well. Gypsophilia, rudbeckia, rudbeckia, poppies, marigolds, and calais, I think that is. I don't know what half of these things are, but I just love seeds. I've got a proper little seed collection. So yeah, got that, which I honestly can't wait to read. Then my mum's other friend uh, got me some more seeds as well. So everyone's got me seeds because they know I had the allotment. So this comes with, it's the six, six in one seed collection. It comes with courgettes, carrots, onions, beetroot, broccoli, and cabbage. And then I got some leeks, which is great and some rainbow carrots, which I very much want to sow. So I'm gonna try and do those before I go away. My nan then did me a really cute little hamper. She gave me some money, but she did a little hamper of random bits and bobs um, to do with gardening, of course, you guessed it. She got this laminated planting planner for the UK, and it's just like an overview of all these different vegetables and when you can plant them and sow them, what they grow well with, what they don't like growing with. I just thought that was really handy to put up in my shed. This is so, so adorable as well. I don't know where she finds these things, but this is the allotment notebook. The illustrations alone are so cute, uh, but inside it's like a guided yearly plan where it says like January, things to do, tasks if you completed them, the plant name, number, notes, just loads of lined pages. There's a drawing board in there. And then you got February, the same thing again. So, oh, gardening notes as well, produce how much came out and if I consumed or preserved it. Very detailed, uh, but so, so such a good idea. I can't tell you, if I seen that, I would have bought it. She also got some little planter placards, perfect for the allotment, so I actually need to go down and make everything look pretty. And then probably my favorite thing, <laughs> my favorite thing is for down in my shed when I'm uh, pottering around the allotment and it's been a long day, she got me this mug. <laughs> It says Gardener of the Year and it looks like obviously a pot and then it comes with this little shovel. That's the spoon. <laughs> how cute is this? I can't get over how that was, I mean, that's just so, so, so cute. Oh, she also got me this lovely lounge bag. You know I love lounge. I will leave this link down below and any, um, any sort of code or anything I have if I do. This was actually on sale, she said. So I will link this down below if it's still on sale. Hopefully it is. This is awesome. I might take this on holiday as well because it's a really good like beach bag slash weekend bag. My lovely parents then also got me, which you might have seen a little clip of when I was walking back to my car. They got me some custom plates this year. Uh, you would have seen also if you follow me over on Instagram. I'll pop my main one on the screen here. I've got a home Instagram as well if you want to follow for all the interior stuff. 
stuff, custom plates, and yeah, they are they are brilliant. They really do look like Amy. And then also, I won't show you the actual tickets because I think it's got the details and reservations and stuff. But my mum got us a couple of tickets to go to the Theatre Royale in Bath to go see Here You Come Again, which is the Dolly Parton musical. Uh, so yeah, that's in, that's in November. Okay, is that everything? I've got to show you. Oh no, that's right. <laughs> that's everything for my birthday. And then obviously I got money from a few people as well. So that will all be going towards a lovely purchase that I hope to make in Barcelona in a few days time. And then like I said, the final thing that I want to show you is I placed an order on Look Fantastic. Now this isn't sponsored. I paid for all of this. I just went a bit ham. They were having a sale where they were already doing, I think up to like 70% off stuff. And then they were doing an extra 10% for the bank holiday weekend. So I just needed a few things slash didn't really need some of this as well, but because it was such a good price, I bought it. So I actually went on Look Fantastic to get this, which is the Color Wow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. And it's the magical, magically transforms texture, amazing humidity proof powers. Uh, I got the little one because I've seen so many videos on Instagram of people using this and it just looking like that hair honestly just looks like it's completely transformed. I, I'm slightly hesitant that that would be the case. I tried this once and I feel like my hair came out nicer. I was still happy with the results, but it definitely wasn't the same as like this amazing transformation video. So I'm glad I got the little one, not to mention it's good for travel. Obviously, if I enjoy it, I'll get the big one. The big one I think is like over 30 pounds. It's between 30 and 40 pounds. This little guy I think was like nine. And then I also picked up the Color Wow Extra Strength Dream Color. So this I think is the same thing, but it just says it's extra strength. So I imagine this is going to be the one I want because the results of this were good, but they weren't absolutely insane. So I'm going to give this one a go next. This one was a bit more expensive. I think even on sale, it was just under £12. But anyway, I pulled the little ones because I'm new to the brand. I've never tried them before. And yeah, I'd, I want them to work, so I'm quite happy to pay the prices, but I, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try these little guys and see how I get on. And then I also seen the video on Instagram and TikTok of this, which is again, the Color Wow Extra Large Bombshell Volumizer. This is a mousse and I mean, the results that people get, they literally put it in their roots and obviously like blow dry it like this and all of a sudden flip their hair back and their hair is like up here. <laughs> yeah, I'll see how this works because again, I'm totally hesitant, but obviously the marketing got me. I am a marketing person's dream. So I did purchase all of these. They were on sale though. And obviously they're small sizes. And then I also got one more product from uh, Color Wow because I just liked the look of this. I'm running out of my serum, like my oil I put on my hair. This isn't an oil have come to realize you have to kind of blow dry this in. It's heat activated, which I only realized when I read the instructions on the back, but it's the Color Wow Dream Cocktail. Uh, this is the kale infused leave-in treatment for fragile damaged hair and it looks like this. They did a kale infused one, they did a couple of then other ones. This is the green one, there's a purple, there's a pink. Uh, and I was, th I thought I could just put this in my hair. You maybe still can, but it says on the back, do not rinse out and style with heat to activate for external use only. So uh, I guess it doesn't work unless you put heat in your hair. I also picked up a fail safe product. I've already been through one of these and I couldn't resist this. I think this was like down to like nine pounds or something. It's the Beauty Works 10 in one miracle spray. If you just want a good, spray that you leave in your hair. This is a wet spray, so you think you can leave it in. You, this isn't heat activated. I think it's always better if you heat activate them, but I loved this. I finished a whole bottle and it says it delivers 10 benefits, which is eliminating frizz, restores shine, nourishes, replenishes oils, protects from heat, detangles conditions, prevents split ends, which I very much need, enhances natural body and repairs dry damaged hair. So yeah, this is a daily treatment apparently. So yeah, it won't be heat activated then. And then finally for hair, I also picked up these. This is the Hair Burst for Longer Stronger Hair Shampoo and Conditioner. I've had these before. I can't say that I was floored by how amazing they were, but I do think they helped with growth of my hair. And I've been getting quite a bit of breakage. So I'm, 
I really want that hair to grow back. So I thought I'm gonna go for these again. And again, these were like 10 pounds for both on sale, which I think is pretty good. I sent my mum the link to this because she uses the Beauty Works. And for like the shampoo and the conditioner, it was 15 pounds. She's like, she usually pays 15 pounds for just the shampoo or the conditioner. I then went on the main sale page and just sorted from low to high. I was like, what bargains can I find? So I just picked up this base coat. I didn't need it. It's by Nail HQ. Uh, and well, I didn't need it. I think I need a base coat. And then I also got the Bondi Sands Lip Balm with SPF 50 in Sweet Vanilla, and this is the sun cream one. I have never seen this before. I have got the Bondi Sands Facial SPF, which I'm bringing on holiday with me. Actually, you can see just up here. This is my new Timu purchase, which is my SPF, so I'm gonna go and replace my lip product with this. But I think this was, again, this was like five pounds, four pounds something. And I just liked the little container. And the final item that I got, uh, I really didn't know that this existed and I seen it and I was like, that is genius. Sometimes when I do my makeup, I forget to use an SPF primer. And with us being out and about in the sun a lot more these days, because the sun's finally back out. Uh, obviously when you've got makeup on, you can't put SPF over your face. You can now because this from Garnier is the Ambre Solaire Super UV Over Makeup Mist and it's a SPF 50 SPF 50 protection with vitamin E and hyaluronic acid uh, and it just says to shake well and this is also cruelty free which is right there on the front and yeah I just think this is absolutely genius because this is this is the answer to the thing I literally have had makeup on and I've been like oh my gosh I'm out I know my face is burning but I can't do anything about it I'm not going to take off all my makeup to put some SPF on you know what I mean so yeah that was my order it came to about like 80 something pounds. I got free delivery obviously because I spent over so much and bought stuff I didn't need. But that is it. Jerry has settled now. Um, I am going to right now just have a good little sort out of all of this stuff. I need a good organize. It's Saturday. It is quarter past three. I've been working all day and I am ready now to have a few hours of proper blitzing sorting because I'm going away very soon and I've got nothing ready. <laughs> His name is Jerry. What is this? What is this? His name is Jerry. Here's a sauce. Oh. <laughs> He's suffocating me. With that news, Jerry, we got a lot to do. And it's Saturday, so I'm hoping we can get this done and then we can sit down in the garden. Oh my gosh, I need to clean this floor. When I'm down this low, only do I see how much of my hair because I've got a beige carpet and there is literally like loads ah, just reality this is a vlog <laughs> it's reality I have been starting my packing as you can see here I've done my makeup jewelry in these and then I've got just random stuff this is that shimmer that I was saying I had on that I could see it's so pretty in the sun, it's absolutely stunning. And I, I've got it on my chest. I don't think you'll be able to see it. I don't know if that's gonna come out on camera, but it is beautiful. But yeah, just some random bits in there. This is always my summer fragrance, the Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder. Uh, and then, yeah, I've got the Brazilian Bliss Body Mist from Poundland. That's a good one for like by the pool slash every day. Then hair stuff, then all of my toiletry. In fact, not all of my toiletries. I still haven't got body wash in there and stuff, but that's what I've done in here. And then out in the hallway, not in the hallway, in the spare room, I have got my case out. And these are some of the shoes that I picked up from Timu that I think are gonna come with me. I think all three of them are gonna come with me. This holiday, I'm literally gonna be bringing like five, six pairs of shoes, but as long as it's fine for the weight, then that's awesome. I've got my packing cubes, my hand carry, my other hand carry, and then this stuff on the bed is just a bunch of stuff that needs to come with me. My SPF container as well from Timu. How cute is this? I will leave these and the shoes all linked down below. They're like the Hermes Oran dupes these beautiful ones and then these are just amazing look at them i also think i'm gonna bring this hat i could just picture a really nice photo in cans with this on or something my new primark stuff my dad's um father's day stuff and father's day stuff up here as well a couple of dresses that i need to pack there's a lot more stuff that i need to pack but i just started chucking stuff on the bed because i was like well 
stuff I'll remember. I need to pack accessories from in here. These always go in my hand carry though. Anything, any of my luxury stuff, I always put in hand carry because I don't trust it in the hold if it gets lost. And then I'll probably wear these Dior sandals on the plane. I'm definitely taking these. These are so comfortable. Um, and yeah, they're the Dior ones. I wish I could get them in black. I've been looking everywhere, but I can't find them. That is me. I still need to do the airport outfit. I still got a lot to do, but I actually spent an hour or so in the garden as well, which was really nice. Oh my gosh, I'm about to have a shower. I look so disheveled. But yeah, I spent a little bit of time in the garden doing some last minute gardening because I'm gonna be really nervous when I go. I've put so much effort into the garden and obviously it's two weeks of very minimal care. My nan and granddad are gonna come up and look after the allotment every now and again and the garden, but We'll see if I come back and everything's dead. You watch, we're gonna have a full on dry spell and everything's gonna die. Right, I'm gonna go have a shower and then I think we're gonna go get a fish and chip takeaway. <laughs> The next day Andy and I decided to go out and get some errands done so we headed into a retail park up in North Bristol because Andy wanted to get some trainers in Sports Direct. This was what he needed to do before holiday so um, after much debating he finally came across the ones that he was after so tick that was done. We then headed over to Curry's because I wanted to get a couple of cameras so we can keep an eye on the house and the allotment while we are away. We headed straight straight over to Eufy and Eufy is one of Anchor's brands. So I knew I wanted to get one of their cameras and I spotted the S220, which looked perfect because it's a small and compact camera. The thing I loved about this most as well is that it is solar powered. So because I want this for my allotment, it doesn't actually have any power there. So this is gonna be perfect. It needs just three hours of sunshine to have charge for the whole day. And you can check this charge via your app as well. The camera is also IP67 weatherproof. So this is fit for any weather, perfect for the UK. The camera is also 2K resolution. This is for day and night, and it also has the always in focus feature. So this is AI powered tracking. So I knew that's what I was gonna go for. And another biggest, well, probably the biggest selling point for me with Eufy is the fact there is no subscription or monthly fee with any of their products. Right, so we are back from the shops. And as you've seen, I did pick up the Eufy security cameras. So I did end up getting two of the Eufy cameras. I told you about the S220 in the previous clips, but I also picked up the S340, which is the dual cameras. Um, and I liked this one because it's got no blind spots. Our garden's quite big and I might actually put this on our garage because then I can cover the garden, the drive and the side of the house and the actual house. So this camera covers up to 50 foot. It is 3K resolution as well. So it's going to be ultra clear video. I will put a overclip in here of the footage from this camera, the S340. So you can actually see what it looks like. It's also got the always in focus feature. So it's an AI technology that recognizes face and it can track. And then the final probably big selling point on this one that I really like is it's got a two-way audio. So where I'm planning to put this is actually where a lot of delivery uh, drivers leave our packages. And actually it could be quite a good idea because I don't like them leaving our packages where they leave them down the side of the gate. This one is solar powered again, so that is perfect for me. So the S220 camera is me better suited if you want more of a discreet option. And then of course the S340 has got great pan and tilt and covers a larger area. So that is better for a bigger space. It's also IP65 weatherproof as well. So we get a lot of rain in this country. That's not gonna damage it. It's gonna be perfectly fine. Eufy have very kindly partnered with me on this part of the video and we are gonna be giving away both of these cameras. So if you'd like to win them, make sure you leave me down in the comments what your favorite product is from Eufy and you could be winning these. The giveaway details will be down below. Also, the links to these items will be down in the description box so you can check them out to shop direct. I am glad to have got these in time today because I can at least keep an eye on the allotment and I can keep an eye on the house while we're away for two weeks. Because two weeks, you think it's not that much time, 
well, it feels like a lot of time and then sometimes it goes really fast and then other times it feels like a lifetime. So at least with the surveillance, I can keep an eye on things and all from the convenience of my phone. Right, it is a stunning day. It is now 10 past four. I tell you what, I could just go to sleep right now, quite honestly. I am so tired, but I need to go down. <laughs> I actually need to go down the allotment. I'm gonna take my camera down. I've got to take some um, plant labels down. I might even plant out some more stuff. Like there's just a bunch of tasks that need to be done. And I think we leave in like 72 hours now. So just over 72 hours. So the clock countdown is on. Not to mention when the sun's out, the sun, oh, by the way, ignore that. <laughs> it was my birthday the other day. You would have seen the 28 balloons as well from the footage, but look at it out here. It is just beautiful. Oh, my plants are gonna be thriving and yeah. Oh, also Andy did get those trainers. I think I showed you in the clip, but he got these trainers. Hello, pumpkin. Are you sat to like a little, little privileged dog that you are on your pillow? I love you. He can smell my lip gloss. He's been a good boy. We've been out for a little while. Oh, also while I was out, I think I've got it over here. I had to run into Asda. We needed to get some groceries anyway. And then I was gonna get my hair dye. I usually get the Garnier Olea one, the one that's powered by oils. They didn't have my color in stock. And I seen recently advertised this new product from Garnier. This is the Garnier Good Permanent Color. And I got it in the shade 1.1.4.15 Iced chestnut brown and um, this is what it looks like doesn't it look like a tub of ice cream <laughs> this was 12 pounds but i just needed it it says up to 100 percent gray coverage up to eight weeks of long lasting color beautiful highlights and tones vegan formula no ammonia and it's the no ammonia i go for so yeah this is going to be my hair dye color for the holiday uh so wish me luck with this but i just thought that was so cute how it's like an ice cream right mr man ice cream it's not ice cream. Oh, I do have an ice cream for you though, Jerry. I've had this in the freezer. Well, I got those paw pops in the freezer that uh, I showed you in this video, didn't I? Did I show you in this video? I can't remember, I think I did. Also for his birthday, I got him this ice cream for dogs and it's a banana split flavor. Where did I, I can't even remember where I got this from. I think it was Home Bargains. I'm gonna give him one of these uh, paw pops. Gibby, would you like a paw pop? Would you like a paw pop? Let mummy open it. All right, I don't really know how these work, my man. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get you to... <laughs> I mean, they, they don't just like... Oh, what does it smell like? It doesn't, it smells like lime, actually. That actually smells really nice. I think I would eat that, to be honest. I'll cool you down a bit. Yeah, cool you down a bit. What a good boy. He's like, why are you filming me? I just want to eat my ice lily in peace. All right, Jerry, you can eat it in peace. Fair to say Jerry enjoyed that ice pop. <laughs> um, half of it also went down the sofa, which wasn't the best idea because I didn't supervise him the whole time. Sorry, I wonder what that was. And it was because the door had been left open. Uh, but yeah, you enjoyed your popsicle, didn't you? I forgot to say when I was editing this video, I was sat in this room and I noticed you could see this thing hanging. If you haven't watched my Timu haul, this is my neck massager. I totally didn't see the frame and I think people must have sat there and wondered what that was all about. I've just got it hung up there and I need to move it to be honest. I need to move that treadmill as well. It's not like I've used it. I've got a standing desk and it's really handy um, and I do need to get back into the routine, but when I'm doing emails and stuff, it's fine to do the walking so I can walk and type, but when you're trying to edit, it just doesn't, I just can't do it. But today has been such a sunny, beautiful day and I haven't got out in the garden at all, honestly. This has been one of those days that I wish I could have been out in the garden, but I've just come out now to have a little breather. I'm feeling that sun hit your face is just one of those lush feelings. Oh no, I need to um, water my sweet corn. Let me show you what I've done. I've just popped out to have a look at the greenhouse. All of my peppers are coming on grand. This is all Padron peppers. These are all cayenne peppers. This is my Thai basil, which has come up beautiful because it loves the sun and there is plenty of that at the moment. You smelling the onions, pumpkin? So yeah, these are the white onions. I think I showed you in this video. Honestly, everything is 
going into one at the moment, but um, yeah, I think these are the ones. Uh, uh, be careful of that, Baba. Careful of those, please. I know you don't mean bad, but if you knock those with your snout, they're probably going to fall over. Um, yeah, I put the onions in sets this time, um, in modules, sorry, because I can put them away in the greenhouse. I also sowed some corn the other day, and this is what it's looking like. I need to give it a bit of a water because they're looking a bit sad, but the ones at the allotment I thought weren't going to do well. I basically planted them wrong, and I thought I destroyed the roots, but I didn't, so by the looks of it, touch wood. But um, yeah, I planted some more, so I'm going to have a lot of sweet corn, possibly. I've done more rainbow chard and then up here this is my rainbow chard that I potted up yesterday that I've all grown on so I think I'm going to keep these in the greenhouse while I'm away and then uh, when they get a bit bigger I will plant them out because the slugs are going to adore these. This is what I was going to plant down the allotment today, some more spring onions. These are desperate to go out. I've already got some down there that you would have seen in the clips earlier but I have got plenty more. I was going to plant them in the garden uh, but I think I'm going to do most of them down the allotment. But yeah everything's coming on really well and then look at my asparagus. It's actually flowering at the moment that is just fantastic so i won't be able to eat this for like another two three years but it's just harvests all its energy and then eventually i will have some lovely spears of asparagus won't i jerry we need to tidy up this garden as well look at the bar today should have been a day that we were out enjoying this but um that didn't happen i've just been working since we got home. Obviously I was meant to go down the allotment as well. I haven't done that yet. We've got to walk Jerry when Andy comes back. He's just gone for a run. So I think I might pop down there at the end of the day to drop some stuff off, but I won't be able to do any work at the moment. But yeah, looking stunning. And then this is also for the allotment. It's a massive cage ready for protecting against the butterflies. Lots and lots going on here but yeah I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog guys I feel like it's been a long one obviously we've been out and about today I've had such a productive weekend like the thing is is I'm so ready to go now I am done it's been an intense week or so probably two weeks I've been flat out um, on top of two or three months as I already said that's just been a bit crazy so I am ready for some time off some relaxation like in the house I will always find something to do whether that's to do with work or cleaning or jerry or sorting or organizing I'm someone who always needs to be doing something hello Baba I'm someone who always needs to be doing something but you know that's why holidays just hit hit harder with me because you can't I can't potter around if I want to potter doing anything it's like my makeup or a face mask or something like that which is obviously self-care so yeah I think this holiday is gonna this holiday is gonna feel a bit better <laughs> you're trying to get up there this holiday is just gonna feel a bit better I think so on that little mirror cat note over there yeah I'm talking about you when are you gonna realize you can't get up I'm sat in this weird position. You can't get up. Oh, daddy's coming through the door. Daddy's coming through the door. Is daddy? Is daddy? Goosey, is daddy? Who's that? <laughs> on that cheery note Andy's back I am going to end up this vlog here thank you so much for watching don't forget about that giveaway with Yuffie all of the information is in the description box also the links to the cameras I've shown you are in the description box I'm going to sign off now I've got plenty of content we've still got three videos a week while I am away and the next time that you will see me in a vlog we are going to be somewhere very exciting I just know that for a fact. Thank you guys all for watching and I will see you in my next video. I'm going to go ahead and leave some videos on the screen here. Remember to like this video if you enjoy my vlogs, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of my uploads and I will see you in my next one. Ciao!